You ready? Okay, 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 okay. So, the red dot's connected to the red bone. The red bone's getting right. So, you see how this works? You see? She's the Secretary of State from the State Department of the State of Maine, an unelected bureaucrat of the executive branch, arbitrarily deciding, even though he's not been found guilty in a court of law, that's not how the law works for getting him off the ballot, of all things. She believes he committed insurrection on January 6th. Ergo, it's airtight, uh, he's off the ballot. And she's a Democrat, not voting in the primary, but she's very concerned about it, right? Because she likes democracy. And are you kidding me? If the Congress did it on a state level, the state of Maine, that'd be po overtly political and egregious enough. This is the executive branch, but not, uh, not even the person elected, mind you. Someone like the Anthony Blinken of the state of Maine, actually verbatim. And they're deciding because they know it's an interaction. Blah, blah, blah. That doesn't, that's not a legally binding. Wait a minute. No, he didn't participate in an insurrection against the United States of America. That would be a gross injustice to say, which is why right away, over and over again, insurrection, insurrection. It didn't even qualify those cops let that shaman in and walked them around. And it's, the whole thing is nuts and unfortunate. He did ask for the National Guard and was turned down. There's all kinds of things. He said, go over there to peacefully make our voice. You are lying. And it has not been adjudicated in a court of law. And even though I think Trump's a bum, A, I'm a never Biden sort of a person. So like, hey, go Trump if you want to vote Trump, all right? Uh, whole hoods for Trump. But also like, uh, this is just, this is just like, they just say you're anti-fascist and then do fascist stuff. I mean, it's just they're trying to cheat because they're terrified he'll win and someone will keep a closer eye on those ballots this time around. And also a closer eye on people who are right behind the ballots the whole time, like for bossy people. I, you know, they're worried he could beat Biden, who is a terrible president. So, I mean, it's mostly that. Uh, they can't get away from Biden at this point. The red wave being denied uh, guaranteed that back in November 22. Uh, had there been a red wave, maybe you could have gotten rid of him. But I said, you know, uh, but that that guy is being fascist and he's going after the Christian like uh, colleges and things and like the Catholics of the FBI. And like, is you sure there's not something with the 303, 3 ohms and the stuff and uh, you people just keep your trap shut that enough of you like Wiccan stuff and Satan or at least clubs who do. Right. And you got to do what the club says, whether you like it or not, because you're an idiot. Right. Well, no, that's just treason. No, what you're doing, and even this, I mean, that's just election interference and cheating. But you see how that works? Because one idiot claims that even though he was not, in fact, found guilty of a crime such as insurrection, you're still going to say, well, no, he did it, and he's off the ballot, and that's that. It won't hold up in court. Even I mean, if anyone, everybody knows what you're doing. If you see some of these liberal pundits, they can't defend it, so they don't even try they don't even try. Yeah, I don't know when they went full like fascist. That's what they say. All right. Well, anyway, the red boat's going to do the boop boop. And that's why Trump's all the ballot this time. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, no, you can't use that for that. You're going to have to face him at the polls. But they're trying, to, they're trying to knock him out during the primary by getting him off the ballot in enough states. And then they say the court thing will be delayed, but he can't be on the ballot or something, right? It's stupid, and it probably won't work. But anyway, that's where we're at. That's uh, just another day in politics. I tried to stay out of the fray for a while, but are you kidding me? As a balls and strikes sort of person who would vote for either the independents over either of those two idiots, but a strong never Biden person, and look why. He's being fascist, and someone's pulling his strings. No, really, uh, I don't think he makes it. He even said for himself early on, they cut him off during the TV broadcast and stuff. He says, you know, they don't let me speak. You know why? Because, like, uh, they don't let him speak. Because he's, you know, maybe, uh, you know, there's certain clips where he sounds smart. Like, I would never withdraw the troops. And it would take me a year to get out, especially if the, to get the gear out. We can't leave that there. He sounded smart. But then, you know, when he's president, you know what he's going to do. And on day one with the border and the stuff and the pipelines. But then Putin can have his. But then uh, a year later, you're going to uh, approve. Uh, we don't want it there anymore. And we're going to celebrate and dance on its grave when it blows up. And what a mess for the climate. But the climate change activists didn't care to find out that particular gas leak from the Nord Stream 2, which is like far greater than any. I mean, 
but uh, you know bill gates has an excuse for himself with his co2 uh carbon imprint uh because he's got some gear clever machine that like scrubs the co2 what about his friends with their private jets he can't even answer like uh about the private jets in general you don't think that's at all uh, but yet uh, we have to eat bugs right and uh we can't have like uh gas stoves or something right and you don't want an iron fist on everything from food to the energy sector to the crap to the crap and the digital crap and the digital currency and now like we're all a slave to you, right? You're not trying to just pull that real quick, right? You sure? Because of course you're trying to do that. And you're so concerned about misinformation, yet provide nothing but misinformation and gaslighting at all times on the news. Just like usual. By omission plus now you're just going to lie. Blah, blah. All right. So anyway, that's uh, that's a fun one. Now he's off the ballot in Maine for the time being, but I think uh, that's uh, not going to hold up in court if uh, they have any shred of like integrity. Because are are you? Do you see how they did it in that state? That's even that's just stupid.